Hey guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and today I'm going to be doing a What is in my swim bag for meats. I know this has been really, really requested, and I thought, well, I have a little bit of extra time today, so let's just do it. So, um, I'm not going to do a too long intro, but um, I posted two videos earlier today. Um, this would be on March 12th. Um, go check those out after this video, and yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so if you watched my, one of probably my first video, um, I did a what is in my swim bag, so you would, for like practices, you would know, oh jeez, something just fell out. I have this bag, this is the Speedo Teamster 35L, and it's this red, and I love it. Um, so this is what it looks like, it has a pocket here, pocket there. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, and then the big pocket. So, this is gonna probably take a while, so let's just get into it. Okay, so starting on the top, I have a pair of shorts and a t shirt. Um, whenever there's a meet, it's really, really hot inside of the kind of pool area. So I always like to have an extra pair of t-shirts and shorts in case I'm going out afterwards or while I'm just sitting there like waiting for warm-ups, I have something to throw on. And if you have like a team shirt, you can always wear your team shirt with just a pair of shorts. That's that. Next, I have an extra suit. This is just a... Um, tie back Joe Lynn, and I believe this is strawberry if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Yes, this is the Jackson 2 in strawberry. If you're wondering, I'm a size 26, it's the smallest size. I'm about like 5'1. I, if I want to, if I want to sound taller, I'm gonna say like 5'1, but like I'm probably like 5, just like 5 feet or like 5 feet and a half. So, I wear size 26 in this. Love these suits. This is great if, say, you're staying at a hotel and, I don't know, you want to go in the pool? Now you have a practice suit. Next, a water bottle. This isn't filled. Um, it's from practice last night. This is just the 24-ounce um, insulated polar bottle. Love this one. I know some people prefer swell bottles, but I just think they taste like metal. And when you just need um, water and you want a big amount, love my um, polar bottle so I just have this one and I recommend like writing your name on like the top of the cap which is what I did okay next I have anywhere from two to four towels I have four towels right here so yeah I like to have a nice amount of towels so that after warm-up so you normally swim about anywhere from like four to six events events so I like to do like after warm-up in my first event I like to use one towel after my two second, after my other two events, I like to do, like every two times you're in the water, grab a towel, then have an extra towel so when you leave the building, you can like wrap yourself in it or put it like on your hair. So that's that. Then I have a pair of flip flops. These are just the Hollister flip flops. They're just a black pair. Um, I think, like personally myself, like walking on a pool deck and like in like the shower rooms is disgusting. So I always like to have a pair of flip flops to walk around. And I find that like my heel, like if I like step in something, I kind of have to like wipe it off my foot and it's just nasty. So always bring a pair of flip flops and you can always like, these are kind of double as shower shoes. So if you're traveling, um, like flip flops are really easy to just bring in your bag. So have these ones from Hollister. Okay, what else do I have in here? Okay, next I just have a um, shampoo and conditioner. So in case you want to um, wash your hair after you're done, it's fine. You have an extra towel to dry off and your hair can be washed. So what I like, these are just the Biolage ones. Um, they're for color treated hair, but like it doesn't really matter. Um, I just picked up the wrong one while I was there. So it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really do anything. But what I like about it, how the shampoo, it has a pink cap while the conditioner has a white cap. So I, when I'm like um, grabbing and I'm in a rush, I know which one's which. So have these. And if you're traveling, you can always put them in smaller bottles because of like your um, luggage. Like on a plane, you can't like carry like huge bottles of stuff. So shampoo, conditioner. I'm just gonna drop it. Okay. 
And that's all I have in this big compartment. So now I'm doing the smaller one. So on the one on the side, I just have deodorant in here in case you wanna, you have to like change afterwards. I have just a little hand cream in here. Hair ties, um, a headband, and a chapstick. So that's kind of in that tiny pouch here. And then I'll do the snacks. And actually, I'm going to do the snacks last because I um, want to talk a little bit about what snacks you should bring if you're new to like meats or anything and you're not sure what to bring. Next. It's mandatory you have a highlighter and a sharpie because I don't know how many times people have been like, I don't I don't have a sharpie, I, I don't know my events, and it's just chaos. So, always bring a highlighter for your heat sheet and a sharpie for your, um, like to write on your arm or whatever. Also, I have a lock in here in case I want a locker, and I just have like a little like brush mirror compact. That is in the pocket where it's a Speedo. Then for meats, I have nothing in this pocket. And then on this side, here I can just come over here. I just have caps and goggles. I like to bring um, two team caps. Um, if you want a double cap, I like to bring two extra solid caps. Um, two pairs of goggles also. And then lastly, on to the best part, snacks. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So in here, first I have these Cheez-It Grips. I love these. They're really easy to um, grab. Um, I've like a lot of people say that when you're at a swim meet, you want to maintain like high sugar. I've heard that. I'm not sure if it's true. I'm not like a nutritionist or anything. But um, I really like these because um, if I'm looking at like the back label here. I didn't know they had protein in them, but like these are just easy on the go. Um, they're like little like bite-sized Cheez-Its. They're not messy, so you can always pop some in your mouth and kind of like snack on them. Cheez-Its. Next thing I have in here, animal crackers. Um, I always find like crackery type stuff is good for whenever I'm racing, and also chocolate milk. A lot of chocolate milk. Next, I just have this. I'm not sure if it's Kashi or Kashi. I don't know. Um, this is a chocolate almond and sea salt granola bar. Granola bars are great, give you um, energy before you race. And this one is just like an all natural one. So, love this. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, the last snack I'm gonna show you and the last thing in my bag is normally an applesauce. This is just the Mott's um, Healthy Harvest Blueberry Delight Applesauce. Applesauce is applesauce. Um, I find that I really like just having a few good snacks and like different varieties of snacks. Like I have Cheez-Its and so I have like Cheez-It crackers and applesauce and like a more like chocolatey granola bar and um, like little sweet cracker cookie type things. So I find that I like having that in my swim bag. I have variety. Then I'm not just like eating a whole bunch of stuff every day. And just for the sake of this video, I will probably like include fruit in this. I'll probably take like a cooler. But like just to film this video, I wasn't just going to like get a cooler out of my fridge and like chop a whole bunch of fruit if you know what I mean. But if you'd like to see a video on me um, doing a like kind of like snack foods, like foods for swimmers. If you know what I'm making, if I'm making any sense there, um, please comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. Um, like, I'm like, tell me if you want DIYs for swim, life hacks, like all that good stuff. I will definitely be able to have that up, like, soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And for more content, subscribe uh, to my channel. Um, I have a whole bunch of other videos that you could check out after this. And I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.